Hey guys, welcome to the video. So somebody emailed me or DM'd me recently and they said, essentially I'm 50 years old, I messed up, I didn't save, and I got no retirement savings, should I panic or should I just put, stick my head in the sand, forget about it? Well, you don't wanna stick your head in the sand and you don't wanna panic, you wanna find a nice middle ground. Maybe lean a little bit more towards panicking. Fortunately for you, you realize, I assume, since you're watching my channel, you realize that coding is going to be the secret weapon. It's the superpower. I learned coding back in 1994, and I discovered quickly enough it's a superpower in terms of uh, earnings and expressing your ideas. You can make a ton of money quickly coding without having to get a degree, without having to go to college. Within months and within a year, you can start making some very good money, and it just gets better and better within the first few years, and you don't have to go to college. I don't think there's any other profession in the world, in fact, where you can make so much money without having to get some sort of specialized degree. So it's huge. So you're in a good place. Now, before I get into the technical execution to solve your problem, you're 50 years old. By the way, if you're young, this is something, if you implement this now, earlier the better. You can find yourself in retirement or financially independent in, you know, no time at all. Bob's your uncle. So, you're 50 years old, you got no savings. Good thing, as I said, coders make a lot of money. So, you want to get training quickly as possible. Of course, I'm, I'm biased. I think my stuff is the, is the bee's knees. My stuff is the way to go. You're gonna learn practical coding because I put into my training programs what I would want to see my uh, people work for me. But I want to see those skills and those that way of thinking. I'm not only teaching how to code, I'm teaching you how to think like a veteran developer. That's why people in my program beat out people with comp sci degrees. So let me point out, it's not just my opinion. Google has said that you should not waste your time in college to get a degree. Now, it's cool if you're there and you're not getting in, into any student loan debt, then fine, do it, that's okay. But also remember, if you spend four years in college to start versus somebody who does a program like mine or self-learn, self, self solo learns, they'll be well-established and making a lot of money while you're still in school. Anyhow, that's just another thing to consider. But if you're not paying and you like college and you're not under any pressure, then you know college is okay, I suppose. But if you're going into debt, then don't do it. In my opinion, and Google's opinion, by the way. The 50-year-old or older or in that range, I wouldn't waste my time spending three, four years in college. You've got no time to waste. I have had many, 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 many people get jobs just with my solo learn courses, let alone my mentoring course. So at 50 years old, I assume that uh, you realize you messed up, as he said in his email. And uh, what you got to do is you got to change your, your bad habits. You got to stop spending money on stupid stuff. You got to go into, you got to put into high gear in terms of saving and not spending. That's number one. If you got any high interest credit card debt, you got to get rid of that too. Uh, side note, guys, and girls, do not spend money on crap that you don't have cash to buy. Credit cards should only be used as a transactional tool, meaning if I buy something with my credit card, that means I have that money in my bank account today to pay it off. I just have credit card for convenience sake, boom. Some people say you should use a debit card uh, so you never use credit, I don't know. That's up to you, it depends on how much discipline. If you have no discipline, then that's a good idea. But whatever you do, don't rack up credit card debt. Don't pay interest on credit card debt. That's as stupid as it gets. The only debt you should take on is maybe buying a, buying a house. That's pretty much it uh, for most of us. So anyway, you want to get rid of your high interest debt, first of all. And you want to start studying your web stuff right away. Now, I teach the web stack plus Python and a bunch of other stuff because it allows for the greatest amount of job opportunities. The web is the king. No question about it. You can do websites, front end, back end, full stack. You can do mobile development. You can do desktop now even. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can do small business app, work for small companies, big companies, medium-sized companies. Doesn't matter. Now, 
I'm not dissing other types of programming. All programming is good, by the way. It's all pretty good. Web is just allows for, for the most opportunities, especially if you consider freelancing. Now, I'm a big proponent of freelancing. I did it. Uh, the great thing about freelancing is that you can really earn a ton of money. You can control who you work with and the type of work that you're going to do. You can set your hours. It gives you the freedom. And in many places, at least I know up here in Canada, and I'm sure across the U.S. and in Europe, I would imagine as well, as a freelancer and a small business owner, you have all kinds of tax advantages as well. So you might want to get into freelance, especially if you're older and uh, you need to accrue funds very quickly. So step one, pay off your credit card debts. Step, step two, don't do stupid things like rack up more debt. You don't need to go to school, uh, especially at that age. You don't have four years to waste. You can get going within months. And then you want to go out there and you want to start earning. And I've talked about all the details about that. Or you want to check out my mentoring program or my solo courses, solo courses. You know, you can get going for 30 bucks, right? Anyway, so as you get going and you start building projects for people and you start learning how to bill and how to produce, whether you work for somebody or freelance, that's cool. And then you got to start saving like a mad person, mad person, mad person. Now, here's the little formula that I figured out eons ago. So I was at a point where I was living in a nice little apartment, super happy downtown. You know, I, I, my the previous tenant in the apartment was a medical doctor. It was his Pierre Thai, his little apartment near the hospital downtown. I rented it. It was my favorite place, even though it was a small little 550 square foot apartment. And I lived there a matter a number of years. Why? I could afford a much bigger place. But I said, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm making all this extra money now in code. I might as well start investing and saving it, right? As opposed to doing what people do is they, you know, they're, they're used to living on 30000 a year to become developers. They shortly, quickly get up to $90,000, $100,000 a year. Again, depends where you live. And so they start buying themselves nice cars and going out and taking lots of trips. You don't want to do that. If you start really young, the experts will tell you to save about 10% of your salary per year so that you can retire comfortably at 65. Other people say 15%. Think about it this way. Let's say you're starting this whole this web journey and you're not making much now and within a couple years you're making double or triple your salary, which you're making now. The smart person would do, like I did, uh, you start saving like a mad mad person. So at one point, I was saving some years 70-80% of the money I was earning. 70-80%. I was still living in my small apartment, doing what I want. I traveled a bit, ate out as much as I wanted, but nothing extravagant. Very, you know, very low-key lifestyle, but earning a lot. So what happened? So think about it this way. The average Joe and Jill who is uh, responsible is saving 10% a year, we'll say. So it takes them five years to save up 50% of their salary. But if you're smart and you save 30 or 40 or 50% or more of your salary per year, and you can get there uh, by not increasing your expenses as you start making a lot more money. In one year, you can save what the average responsible person takes five years to save. These are rough numbers because there's accrued interest and compounding and stuff. Each of those years you have money invested. But nonetheless, we'll, we'll just keep it simple for now. So five years, it takes them to that long to save 50% of their salary. You can do it in one year, maybe two years, right? If you save 50% or 30%. So let's say you're saving 50%. So you do it in one year. And then after then two years, you've saved 10 years with the, their takes them 10 years to save. You've done in two years, three years. You've done what takes them 15 years. You get where I'm going with this? Now, the numbers are a little off because if they're investing as they're going, the money starts earning money for uh, on its own. So it's a little less, but you get the idea. So imagine you get to that point quickly, you learn how to code, you follow the steps, you get the high paying job or you start freelancing. And then within four years, uh, you find yourself, man, 15, 20 years ahead of the game, you've caught up. You're fine. 
even though you, you, you messed up in, uh, at 50. That's the power of code. It's a superpower. Now, here's the thing. People are going, ah, four years, ah. Guess what? If you follow the steps as I outline, within a year, you pay off your credit card debt. Assuming you don't have $800,000 in credit card debt. Uh, you put together a little FU money. I used to say one to two years. I've cut that down and revised, I think, maybe six months. Uh, especially if you're working for somebody. And then you just start saving up, saving up, saving up, saving up, saving up. You know, um, within, as soon as you have no debt, and as soon as you have your FU emergency money, it takes so much of a psychological burden off your shoulders. It really does. It changes your whole perspective on existence. And then when you've accumulated a few bucks in your savings account, it starts to grow. Then it becomes like a game. The money becomes a score. So, yeah, you can find yourself feeling very good about yourself just by moving in the right direction and following and executing on the plan I described. Now, this is a very uh, light outline in this video. You can watch other videos where I talk about FU money. If you want to get really in detail, you can look at my solo courses on money management and so on. And there's lots of material out there. But the key to this is the high earning that you can get as a coder developer. No matter what specializations you get into, whether you do front end, full stack, mobile, whatever, doesn't matter. That's the key. The key is the super high earning that coding can give you without having to go to school for years. And the other thing is to be able to live that low key lifestyle. I was one of the first nomad developers, if you will, except I didn't, I wasn't too nomadic. I kind of like my place downtown Montreal. And I traveled a little bit, but I was just, you know, this, I, I, was, uh, I was a cheap thrills kind of dude. But that allowed me to move way ahead of my com contemporaries at the time in terms of my savings. I was way ahead, way ahead, uh, and very quickly. So you can be too if uh, you follow the steps. But again, the key is the coding. So yeah, at 50, should you learn to code? Well, sure, 100%, especially if you're broke. How about 55? Why not? Again, I've showed you how when four or five years, if you uh, f follow the steps, you can find yourself way ahead of the game, catching up to everybody. With, they may have taken them 10, 15 years to reach what you can reach in a few years. If you uh, work hard, you learn the skills, you apply the knowledge, and you start just accumulating uh, uh, cash and Whatever you do, if you're watching this and you don't have debt or if you got some credit card debt growing, get rid of it. You know, that's the killer. Don't get into debt. Don't do it. Don't start leasing cars. When do you lease cars? I don't know. If you got five million bucks in the bank, then you can start thinking about leasing cars if you want. Other than that, I wouldn't do it. You know, famously, I think uh, Jeff Bezos, when he was worth like uh, five, ten billion dollars back in the day when he was poor, uh, he, uh, he was driving around a Honda Civic, an old one. When he was worth five, ten billion dollars. Keep that in mind. All right, I hope that helps. If you're 50 and older and you're like, oh my God, how am I going to retire? Code is the way. Code is the way. The great thing about coding, by the way, you have a great thing. You can work from home very easily. You can work from home. So you don't have to be in fantastic shape. That being said, uh, my advice to you, if you're overweight, you're over BMI, lose weight. Healthy body is a healthy mind. Healthy body will reduce all your stress hormones. You'll be much more comfortable. You have much more energy. So if you're heavy, get rid of that fast. Uh, it's just good for your health, you know? I hope that helps.